Hey guys, this is Zach from the future, just uh, kind of cutting in right here. So it turns out this bit of footage right here where we arrive in England, um, basically the recording went to went to hell. Uh, the culprit ended up being my drivers were not up to date. So this is all that kind of was able to be salvaged from it. Essentially, we arrived in England, we took out a chain blockade kind of followed the river for a little bit then we found a settlement we tried to come up there there was bandits fought off the bandits and we decided to call the settlement uh, as our own so sorry guys it's you know i'm more of a twitch streamer rather than a, a let's player uh, i promise i'll get better at this um i am loving this game so far um as far as everything else there should be maybe one more episode where it's going to be kind of be played on the uh, the old drivers. After that, though, everything's up to date and everything's running way more smooth. So, sorry guys, please try to bear with me. I'm trying my best. Uh, other than that, guys, let's get into the video. Okay. So this is our settlement. This is what I was I was really waiting for this. So now we're gonna help set up the blacksmith. It seems like in, in all the Assassin's Creed games and even like the Elder Scroll games, I've always loved crafting. Like if there's a blacksmith and there's like a skill in crafting or blacksmithing, I always go for it. Kind of always wanted to take up blacksmithing. I kind of know like some of the basic not fundamentals. Day, not at all. Hey, what's up, buddy? Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. No bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. All right. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the playthrough, I'm gonna try my best to not talk like during like dialogues like that, unless like I really need to react to something that's being said. And oh, hey, we have some skills to uh, to, to assign. So. Put that in there. Hey, -o. what's this? Definitely need stealth. You know me, I love headshot damage. Done. Heavy damage. We'll grab that too. All right. And what's nice is like, cause I'm kind of going for a balance look at the moment. I might lean a little bit more heavily into like the stealth tree or the assassin, whatever we want to call this. Um. Yeah, we call this you know the assassin. Yeah, assassin, warrior, hunter. I'll probably be leaning more towards this just because I like being stealth. And what do we have in our inventory now? Raven Clan helmet. It's pretty dope. Alright, um. That. We'll keep that. I like the bear head. 
how do we... There we go. I want to walk around with a big bear on my head. Alright, some codex. World, that's what I want. Oh, wow. Okay. So I assume this is where... Sorry, this is, I'm just kind of getting like my first look at the actual map. That's a little annoying. Okay, so I can fast travel to my ship. Can't I customize my ship? Even at like lower graphic settings, this game's still beautiful. I thought that deer was supposed to make a jump. Alright, here we go. Save it for later. Monastery day, right? <laughs> spots are like their weak points. Shit. I pressed R, but okay. really have to you mean to tell me you guys didn't hear all that in the front of the building the guy. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're dead. You're gonna die. If I'm not careful, I'm gonna die. Oh, it's the guy. So now we take the silver. I'm gonna Hang on, how do I I gotta check the controls again. Sorry. The game doesn't like it when I press something on the on the, <laughs> on the keyboard, and then switch back to controller. Okay. Starting to figure it out. Oh, lost the head. We are in England. Oh, 
Oh, hey, figured it out. Break it down. We watch it to the spikes. That's how you do it. Just use your back in a jerking motion. Take your legs completely out of the equation. Oh, shite, sir. You were right, mate. This guy's actually like risk of dying. Is there anything else here? No? Alright. This honestly feels better playing controller. Alright guys, so that's our first monastery raid. Turn home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. So, Eivor, what's your count? My count? Dag, I've no need to count my kills. <laughs> they number too many. Likely story, Wolf Kiss. Me? I killed 26, I think. Ah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived, Dog. No, oh, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. It's already running so much smoother, though. I think so. I think we solved the problem. So this is good. Um, we should probably heal. Just running around and moving like with a controller now is just so soon. much better. And we good news, Zion. Build. Yeah. 
<laughs> we have a blacksmith. Ah, this is wonderful labor. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Bornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. I do need some and upgrades. What what have you got for me today? Now, can I upgrade my hidden blade? Or is there a special way of doing that? Where's my father's axe? There it is. What is that? Nickel ingots from tungsten. You know what? We'll wait. Ready for battle. I have to go. See you soon. Until next we meet. Alright, um... Okay, back up to the longhouse. The Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller territories called shires. Hey, boy. In here. What will you keep What's in up, this bro? room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. Okay. It's a dope bed. Full straw. Straw beds were accurate to this timeline, I think. Messages and requests. So this is like special emails, stuff like that. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm, not much, but it is mine. Never had a room before. That is hilarious and depressing. I call it depraious. Uh, TFS references. Alright, um, who's that way? Hang on, can I eat? And not catch on fire? Oh, I can blend. Like living in the longhouse, I feel like a yarl. Okay, that threw me off. I was like, is that a grown ass man? Wow. You're ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. Why now? Jack, please. This must be done. 
Yes, and I can. What's going on? What was that about? about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randri. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. That's right. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Calm down, dude. Take a seat. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. But I would sooner take orders from a louse. You already take orders from me. Able. All right, skills. We got two more points. So what's this? Ability damage. Wait. Okay, so I have to go here first, and then this. Clear the raven. Okay. Oh, wait. Assassin damage. Ability damage. Oh, look, it actually, like, connects over here. That's cool. spared just now but if you can build me something better i promise you the finest of beasts a bustling stable would be a great boon here a bustling stable would be a great boon here i will see what i can do ah, there you are what's up you wanted to see me as sigurd has so ordered it falls to us to expand our presence in england he wants to forge alliances I am clad with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So... Where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leather to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. I want to see the alliance map. Alliance map of your settlement. If you want your settlement to thrive in England, you must. Your clan must forge. I swear to God, I'm turning dyslexic. Your clan must forge alliances. Pledge to a territory to confirm your interest in an alliance. As pledges are completed and allies are made, other territories will be made available. south we'll get supplies I mean he wanted Tell us me to more come. about letter Chestershire I should like to join Sigurd soon he traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson 
As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I suppose that's one way to punch through territory, just stab Good. a knife through it. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Refton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Hey -o. Look at that, I just got some free premium currency. That's a really cool tree. Hi Thum. Randvi asked me to see you about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. So what do I need? Yikes. Can't do it quite yet. So we need to build a bureau first. And then we'll go as this? Oh, barracks. Alright. They're off. Champion lady! Reigns. It is over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My thing! What has happened? Your caps have fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh, God, no! It was only a game! A romp! My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction. <laughs> oh, God. You really thought my life was in danger. And you risked your own. Oh, you. Oh, you <laughs> are so brave. A f 
divine protector. Tell me you're joking. Please, you must fight for me. Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector, stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Oh, <laughs> assuredly. I have no idea what's happening trouble right coming. now. Real trouble. Keep quiet. Huh? Well now. I'd say that's worth a look. I don't know what to do. They just fucking threw me. Dodge. Dodge. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hidden One's Bureau. Dope. Mr. 
This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranmi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. A gift, eh? Dear heaven, as to your breathing, Hytham, does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basil. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. What is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. <laughs> More riddles. What fun you are. <laughs> Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. But still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. And I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. There it is again, <laughs> the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> I like this guy. the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured. Weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. You see, I like this. Because most of the time, like, your character, if he's, like, just starting out with the Brotherhood, he can already, like, do, like, you know, the leaps and shit like that. This actually kind of shows him being taught. Like, the assassins are actually grooming him to become a become a brother. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. Do you want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall! Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Conquer it! <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. 
He was not here. Not today. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. This is the way. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Tjotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. Rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same a land to call our own and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan, then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all! Vasim has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranvi about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Adam. For all of this.